Welcome back everybody to another clean with me. How are you guys doing? It has been so long since our last clean with me. We were sick. I had COVID and I lost my voice. <laughs> so I actually recorded this a few weeks ago. Um, and these clips have been recorded over the past couple of weeks while we were down sick. And this was kind of me just working on some projects. Um, but today we're going to be doing some real life deep cleaning here in my nasty, disgusting bathroom. Um, starting with the toilet, you guys saw the hard water from our well is literally my arch nemesis. It like, my whole shower is like yellow and uh, I think I need to go get some barkeeper's friend and try to use that to get it up. Cause I even tried to like use like heavy duty, like bang, like bleach cleaner. Um, and that didn't get it up either. So doing my very best <laughs> to get that up. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing okay. I am so excited to be cleaning with y'all today. Um, got the toilet knocked out super quick. Um, I, I like to let it sit in there for a little bit while I clean the sink. And then I'll come back and give it another flush. But yeah, I love my Jaws cleaners, you guys know. So I'm using my Jaws bathroom cleaner literally everywhere today. And I love it, but it honestly cannot handle those hard water stains. And I don't know why. So, like I said, I probably am going to end up getting some barkeeper's friend. But anyways, let me know what you guys are working on today while we're hanging out. what it is about sinks and hair but they just like attract all the hair kevin's beard hairs my hair like it's just a hair fest there's hair everywhere i can't get rid of it it's so annoying um but after i let that sit in the toilet for a little bit i went back and flushed it and it looks really good and then i'm gonna go ahead and do like the outside of the toilet with the jaws cleaner um i absolutely love my jaws cleaner also all of my jaws like cloths were dirty right now so I'm just using a paper towel which is probably not the best because they have cloths that are designed to go with them but you know whatever this is fine <laughs> so I do this and then I end up using the scrub brush in the sink and in the shower to try to get me a little bit more elbow grease um, that brush is just a scrub brush from the dollar store so if you're looking for that <laughs> brush I was using to clean the sink um, it's at Dollar Tree <laughs> for $1.25 so you can stock up on those but I have missed you guys I am currently 20 weeks pregnant halfway through my pregnancy with this little guy um, and we are halfway through because he will be coming exactly at 37 weeks due to some complications 
but nothing serious. He's all healthy. We're all good. We had our anatomy scan a couple weeks ago, and he looked amazing, and we'll be having another one here in another couple weeks because uh, we weren't able to get all the pictures that we needed because he was a little stinker, but <laughs> he's doing awesome, and we are so excited to meet him. But now let's tackle this ridiculously filthy shower, <laughs> even though I'm not going to get that stupid yellow stain out. So right here, I just wanted to explain at the end of this cleaning of the shower, I decided to put some vinegar in a Ziploc bag. I saw this on TikTok <laughs> and stick it up near the shower head. It's like warm, hot water with vinegar in that bag to try and get some of that calcium buildup to come off of the shower head. And then I go back in with my scrub brush and the Jaws cleaner later. But I did that off camera because I did it later that evening and I let that bang um, cleaner sit on that the whole time as well just to see if I could try to get it up. Spoiler alert, it doesn't come up. <laughs> but the shower head looks amazing. <laughs> so now I'm just stripping the bed and getting that taken care of because it's gotten so much chillier here. I actually decided to go ahead and switch out the sheets for our flannel sheets. Um, here in Northwest Ohio, it's been kind of cold <laughs> recently, at least chilly at night, getting down into the 40s. So we have been doubling up on our blankies, and we went ahead and busted out the flannel. But I'm just going to work on cleaning up this room because I'm trying to do my nesting projects in preparation for baby boy, who will be sharing our room for a little bit. <laughs>
So those two trash bags were actually donations that I went ahead and purged in my clean with me that had just never been bagged up to be taken out. So I got those taken out and actually they're already out of the house. They're gone, which is really good for being sick. <laughs> um, but I'm going ahead right now. I'm going to make up the bed and then I'm going to fold all the clean clothes that are in those two baskets so that I can get ready. You're not going to see me put the changing table in here um, in this video, but it is already in our room and we actually moved the dressers around in the girls' room to make room for um, a second dresser so we can put baby boys' clothes in there and also so that we could still have a surface to change diapers on. So I am trying to figure out which, which one I want, but I'm going to be ordering a silicone change mat that will stick to the top of the dresser so we can still change the girls' diapers off the floor. Although... Naomi's almost three, so we're probably going to start changing her and, like, helping her learn how to get dressed more independently on the ground and, like, in a standing up position, if that makes sense, instead of laying down for, like, getting dressed and diaper changes and things like that. We're also about to start potty training, <laughs> which is nerve-wracking and exciting all at the same time. Um, because Naomi has cerebral palsy and has special needs, her preschool does not require her to be potty trained, which is a huge blessing because she can't really talk or communicate, so it's really hard to figure out, like, cues for the bathroom. Um, but I've been working with her therapists, and we're kind of coming up with a plan to help us be able to facilitate, um potty training and Ella is really showing signs of being close to being ready um, which I think at 18 months that's like really young to start potty training I don't know <laughs> that's just my personal opinion but she hides every time she has to go and that's one of the big ones that everyone says like when they are hiding they're like aware of what their body is doing so I'm like okay maybe we just try potty training them together and then maybe it'll go a little bit easier who knows so anyways we're getting prepared for baby, but also prepared for lots of change in general, like Naomi going to school. <laughs> As you guys can imagine, a lot of the messy to minimal content has kind of taken a back burner for me because all of my extra energy is going into preparing for this little guy. Um, right now, the plan is for him to be delivered at 37 weeks, but there is a possibility of him coming early. They're watching me very closely, so I'm trying to just like put myself in the best position possible to be prepared for him. So that's been my main focus lately. So you guys let me know in the comments down below whether you would like 
more messy to minimal nesting content. Like I can film all the things I'm doing for nesting, like baby laundry and folding and sorting and whatever. And also like I did a bunch of stuff in the playroom recently. So I can film all of that and show you guys if that's something that you're interested in. I know that it's kind of hard because um, the messy to minimal goal was to go around and get rid of things and now I'm bringing baby things in. <laughs> So I feel like I counteracted my 20% that I got rid of. So maybe we have to start the messy to minimal journey over after the baby's been here for a while. But anyways, that's just life and how it goes, right? So here I'm just going to move my vanity over and really try to simplify the way that we're storing all of this stuff because I need room for the baby and his stuff. We're going to put a changing table on that wall directly across from the bed so that we can do nighttime changes with him super easy. His bassinet is the type that like the legs go under my bed and then the bassinet like is directly next to my bed so we're not co-sleeping but he's like directly next to me and I can easily see him and he can see me and I'll be able to nurse him in the night. So that's the plan for him right now and then eventually he will have a crib in the kids room and he will move in with his sisters once he starts sleeping through the night and not nursing all night so yeah that's super exciting i can't believe that we're gonna have three kids it's just absolutely insane <laughs> So this section of cleaning with the kitchen was actually filmed um, like a week later, I think. Um, and we are getting ready for uh, football game day. This was a Saturday. Um, and the Buckeyes were playing Notre Dame. It was a very big game. It was a very big deal. And it was very stressful. Um, but this was me cleaning up while the kids were taking a nap. Um, well, before the kids were taking a nap, I was getting ready to lay them down for a nap because you'll see Ella kind of toddling around. She is very fascinated with the dishwasher and whatever that the dishwasher does. Um, she kept dumping Cheerios into the dishwasher, so I had to keep like throwing Cheerios away. <laughs> it was kind of frustrating, but such is life with a toddler, right? Especially with two of them. They keep me on my toes, but... We were just getting ready and getting cleaned up and we actually ended up ordering a pizza this night even though I had plans to make food. But I had made like a big meal the night before and we had people over so it worked out. There you can see my little helper uh, dumping Cheerios into the, <laughs> into the dishwasher. I'm like okay go in the living room and leave me alone because you keep putting Cheerios in my dishwasher. <laughs> um, so anyways. I've been trying to keep up with my dishes really well and I've been doing pretty good with that and the laundry as well because I don't want to get behind. It just feels super overwhelming especially because now I'm so tired and I just get to like a certain point in the day where I don't feel like doing anything anymore and so I'm trying to be a little proactive and keep up with things so I don't feel so overwhelmed and I don't get so tired. Um, I'm also getting super excited for fall. I already did my decorating. I didn't film it because I just did it one random day to make myself feel better. Um, but if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'm sure you'll see it in a clean with me coming up here soon with the living room. 
Um, but that's basically what we've been up to and where I have been recently. Um, I really missed you guys. So I hope everything is good with you. Let me know down in the comments. What are you up to? What is life throwing at you right now? Are you guys super stressed and busy with back to school and all the fall activities? Or is it just a chilling, hanging out, good vibes <laughs> type of uh, month for you guys? Let me know. September like evaporated before my eyes. One minute it was the beginning of September and I was getting an ultrasound and then the next minute it's like almost the end of September and we're already like four weeks into football season. Absolutely insane. I cannot believe it. But I wanted to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you were working on today while we were hanging out. And also, I will link a playlist right here for the other Clean With Me's that I have done. And then I will also link the Messy to Minimal playlist if you are in need of some more motivation to help you get through whatever you're working on in your to-do list today. But I think that's going to be it for me. And I cannot wait to see you all very, very soon.